Okay, so we know again from before that this rectangle represents our base and that was 2x minus x squared. So I'm going to go ahead and write that in. All right, equilateral triangle. From the previous slide, the area was radical 3 over 4 times the base squared. So I'm going to plug this in for the base. And then find the volume. And then for the next one, the rectangle whose base, whose height was 2, was 2B. So I would put this in right here for B. And the volume is going to be pretty straightforward. Just like that. Okay hope you're finding that this isn't too bad. Um, you don't have to put as much thought into this as you would uh, with rotating the, um, saw or the areas around. You just have to know a few quick little formulas. All right. Uh, isosceles right triangles. So the first one we looked at was where the leg and the base were the same. So that was one half of the base squared. And again, we have the same base. So we're going to plug that in. Oh, jumping the gun again. And our volume is going to be 1 half 2x minus x squared squared dx from 0 to 2. And finally, our last formula was where um, the hypotenuse was the base, and that formula was um, b squared over 4. So b squared over 4. And the base is the same. So b squared over 4. Okay, that should do it. And that is how you do volume with cross sections. Make sure you hang on to these little formulas. You're going to need them throughout your homework. And this assignment isn't very long. So I'll post that assignment on Canvas. You guys have a good night or a good day.